Now today I'm going to be showing you exactly how women judge your social value and this is going to not only play a factor in your personality and how you talk to women, but this is also going to play a huge factor in your seduction and if the women that you're seeing or if the woman that you're dating wants to consistently keep seeing you. So this is super important because having a personality that is indifferent in a few key areas like I'm going to show you today is going to be so crucial to your success long term. Now after this video is over, all I want you to do is go down below. I want you to click the link in the description and I want you to check out the MBT masculine behavioral technique full length end to end webinar presentation that I specifically put together for you. So that way you can take that system, you can copy paste that into your actual dating life. Take these concepts that I teach you on today in the video even a step further. And that way you can get results at a way quicker pace, it will be well worth your time. So let's dive in. Okay, this video is one that you are going to want to save because I'm going to be showing you how women judge your social value. So going into this, what I want every single man to know who watches this channel is that women do not feel the spark for men who play it safe. Okay, if you're playing it safe, and when I say you play it safe, what I mean is verbally, okay, you are very, like you you speak very in a safe way where you never run the risk of offending or anything like that. A woman isn't able to feel anything for you or a woman is not able to feel the spark for you that she wants when you act this way. So let me give you an example. Let's take a multimillionaire of a fortune 500 company who's six foot five makes, you know, tons of money has a million followers on Instagram has 10 Ferraris has perfect hair has a perfectly symmetrical face. Okay, every guy who chases like what they're told is high value they are going to look at that guy and they're going to say he's a 10 out of 10. Okay. Now, if this guy on paper, who's a 10 out of 10 sends one text like this, this guy is a 10 out of 10 sends one text and says, Hey, haven't heard from you. Are you mad at me? Okay, instantly social value gone instantly. Now that guy's became a four out of 10. Like women are so in tune with personality traits and strength internally of a man that the second that you care to the point where you're no longer showing that indifference or that you've been moved off center, like just read that. Okay. Hey, haven't heard from you. Are you mad at me? Like what's this going to signal in her head? It's going to signal he cares. He's worried. He's needy. He thinks that he did something wrong. This is why these concepts of being high value, like when you actually like I, I, a lot of these guys who are telling you this on the internet, I question if they're actually out there dating. Like I watch some of the stuff that other guys post or other content creators and I scratch my head and I'm like, have any of you been on a fucking date within the past like year? Women don't care because this stuff doesn't do anything to make them feel anything. So one full one, one false move or one bad text like this haven't heard from you. Are you mad at me? He went from a 10 out of 10 to a four out of 10 that quick based off one sentence. The reason being is because you lowered your social value. Now she thinks you're weak. So that specifically is why women do not feel the spark for men who are too perfect or for men who play it safe. Now take that concept that I just taught you and now shift it to this point. This is specifically why being cocky, okay, being funny, making like the room laugh or having a presence where you're definitely have an emotional impact on other people, being arrogant or acting like you're superior. This is why this type of shit gets you laid, right? This is where women see this and they literally get wet for you when you act this way. They can't help it. You're moving their emotional state. So this is why being cocky, being funny, being arrogant or being superior gets you laid. The reason being is because now, okay, these deep rooted personality traits, it registers in her brain that, Hey, he gets away with it. He gets away with talking to me this way. He gets away with talking to everyone this way. He's not afraid of any sort of social repercussion. This guy doesn't give a fuck. That's why women judge your social value purely based off masculine indifference. They like a guy who's rough around the edges to women. This is what they consider alpha or alpha male traits, it comes from the inside out. And to a woman, the personality from the inside out is judged based off of your words. It, the only way you can you, you control the dynamic, the only way you control sex appeal and seduction long term past that first or second date or first or second interaction 
is you have to talk to these women the right way. That means women need fun and women need stimulation. So let me give you an example from like a text of mine specifically from this weekend when I went out on a date. I'll show you this word for it and I'll put it up on the screen because for those of you wondering like what, what does like playful, cocky, funny banter look like? How do you act? Like what, what, what are you supposed to do? Like how do you create an environment of fun or how do you create a world where she wants to actually come into that environment and get her to like you for you in a way where your personality can shine through? I will show you. So I'll put this up on the screen. I'll obviously keep her name private because that's just respect. I'm a respectful guy. It's good to have respect. I look at me how respectful I am keeping her name private. Look at me. I should get an award, right? This is like the one thing that almost every content creator can't get right and they can't talk about it at the right pace and they don't break it down slow enough so you can actually see what it means to engage a woman's emotions. So I'm going to try my absolute best to show you real life example. So that way, when she goes home after that date, she looks at her phone or gets a notification from you or she thinks about you at night and she goes, damn, I really like him. That's what you want the girl to think. Like it's not even about the sex. That's the thing is if you're so focused on the sex, you ruin the whole interaction. You want her to go home and say, holy shit, I like this guy. I adore this guy. I think about this guy. That's what you want is you want a woman to actually adore you. So I'm going to show you exactly certain personality traits that I show when I'm on a date. Okay. So that way they feel the spark or whatever the hell they want to call it. So they feel something because they want to have fun. They want to have a real connection with the guy. They need the shit to feel natural. If you're so regimented, if you're so trying to be this super, you know, alpha rigid dude, you're going to come off as weird and it's going to be hard for her to come into your frame. So I'm going to show you real life example. Me and this girl go out to get appetizers and then we got a margarita. Okay. So in the margarita, there's this bowl. Okay. There's this bowl and then in the bowl, there's pineapple and then through the pineapple through it, there's this little stick or it's like a sword. It's like a little, it's like made of wood. You know what I'm talking about? How they put those little sticks in drinks. And then after I eat the pineapple, right, I'm playing around with her. So I'm like, I'm trying to poke it at her hand, but she keeps pulling away. She won't let me poke it. Right. So I'm like, oh, you know, don't be such a pansy ass, right? I'm trying to poke her hand. What are you scared? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, do you not trust me? She's smiling the whole time. She's giggling. So there's play back and forth with it. You have to take this to that degree. Okay. So I'm going to show you a real life text example as I'm on this date with her. <laughs> Like, look at this. First off, let's just look at how funny this is. Let's call her name Beth. Okay, so I'll keep her name private because I'm a good guy. Good guys are respectable and nice and keep people's names private. That's why you should comment, Casey, you're the best in the comment section. Whatever. I saved her name as Bisexual Beth. Okay, let's call her Beth. I saved her name as Bisexual Beth. And earlier that week, I screenshotted that and sent it to her. Keep in mind, she's not even bisexual. This is like the back and forth puppy love that women need to like your personality. So I got this little margarita sword stick wooden thing. I'm trying to poke her with it and she won't, she won't let me, let me poke her with it. So then literally you want to talk about like how to give emotion, how to get them to feel the spark, right? How to give them like some sort of feeling. I'm sitting there right there on the date. She's two feet across from me. I'll put my text message up on the screen. I literally text her right there as we're sitting there. I go fuck yourself and suck more D and walk home. That's what I said. There's the screenshot. Okay. She loves it and starts laughing. At the end of that date, me and her back and forth poking each other with the stick, the wooden stick from the margarita. Like by the end of that date, that girl was laughing and loved every second of it and thought it was super fun. And by the end of the date, then wants to keep that stick or take that stick home and says, I should keep this as a souvenir. <laughs> so like, now all of a sudden that that meant something to her. That's why like those of you chasing like materialistic status and success, you go buy a girl a $100,000 engagement or wedding ring. That doesn't mean anything to her compared to the ring pop that you bought at a gas station or a gum wrapper that you folded into a circle when you guys were at the park and she looked at you and she goes, Oh my God, I love this guy. Do you understand to women? It's about the feeling. It's a, not about all of the materialistic status driven success metrics that you think make you high value. They don't give a fuck. Okay. Those things, if, if you are high value like that, but you don't act like it, you don't let that be a reason or an excuse to let your confidence shine through and be 
like playful and engage in a real personality and a real identity, it's not going, you're not going to win with women in that aspect. So that's an actual real life text example. Then as you can see, even that night when she left, after we came back to my place, I go, did you make it home safe? She goes, yes, safe and sound. I go, perfect, sleep tight. She goes, you too, blows a kiss emoji. I show you the timestamp just so you can kind of see like, you know, we were together for probably like three, four hours. Then you can see she hits with a double and goes, not gonna lie, I wish we were cuddling right now. So like, <laughs> the point is that you want the woman that you're with or the want, you want the woman that you're seeing to genuinely like you. So this is where like when I question, I, a lot of times I scratch my head and I question, I'm like these, these content creators try to wear Louis Vuitton and tell you how to be high value. I'm scratching my head and I'm sitting there thinking, do these guys like even get laid? Do these guys even go out on dates? Like are these guys even with women? Growing up, I'd throw house, house parties all the fucking time. I have tons of old photos. I have tons of screenshots. We'd go on the river. We'd stay out on the river all night on the sandbars. We, I'd throw house parties. I'd, just, I'd throw shop parties. Okay, there was all the time dudes who'd walk in who are six foot two, good looking. Like until you actually go to a house party and you actually start, or you go out to a bar and you watch the dude who's jacked or tall not know how to converse with the women. And then you watch a dude who's 135 pounds, who's like a skater or a stoner or like is half drunk. And he just randomly will like take that dude's girlfriend and fuck that chick that night. And you're sitting there scratching your head and go, well, is that alpha? The shit that you're, that you're, you gotta understand women are social creatures. So when you play games like this and you have fun with them and you play around with them, almost like you, like you're just literally living in the moment with that personality, that is masculine frame. Because now in her head, that triggers, he's fun. He can make me laugh. Okay, we now have real connection. There's a spark. Okay, and she's gonna go, it's real. For women, now that feels natural. Like for women, it has to feel natural. For women, it has to feel casual. For women, it has to feel like it just happened. And I'm gonna to start to do my damnedest. I'm gonna try my fucking best to start to show you guys text messages, to show you guys interactions that I have with girls. Because who I am when I'm in public or when I'm with people isn't what you see on this presentation. So like the past like 10 or 15 dates I've been on, every girl that I've went out with will always say, oh, I watched your videos and I thought you'd be such an asshole. I didn't even think I'd like you. I'm really surprised I like you. I had such a fun time with you. That's what they all say. Because I'm giving you guys the textbook literature version, okay? This, when I show you that screenshot, that text message, that is what it looks like when you apply the shit. So you, you have to be able to navigate the social environment of women. And I'm gonna tell you this, those of you guys who you generate your confidence based off of like maybe what you're wearing or shit like that, that will buy you a little bit of time, but that don't make up for what's on the inside. And when you got that charisma, when you got that swag, when she looks at you and she's like, fuck, he just talks to me the right way. His vocal tone's the right way, right? He gets me to laugh, he's playful, but he can also be stern, okay? Like then, then you, can, you gotta also be stern with her. So she's gotta see like, he, he's safe, he can make me fun, but then he also can talk to me the right way. So then that, like I'll give you this perfect example. That girl who I went on, we got appetizers with her that I just showed you that text message. She was in my truck and she goes, she goes, oh, Jesus. She goes, Jesus Christ. That's what she says to me. I looked at her and I go, hey. I go, don't say God's name in vain. I go, say a prayer right now and say, apologize. I said it just like that. She's like, okay, I did. So like, like the, this is the dynamic where like, when you have both sides of the coin, okay, as in he's fun, he's good socially, he's fun to be around, I like him for him, I like his personality, I like he's winning me over, I'm falling for him. That is how you create the emotions that you need so the woman wants to either be, like so the woman wants to either sleep with you or she's aroused by you. She's like, damn, I can see myself with this guy, I'm having fun. But then when you have that other side of the coin, Okay, you had that other side of the coin, or like another thing that said, like she, she said, fuck. Okay, so I was like, that, that's not ladylike. I go, no swearing. Go, Don't swear. Potty mouth, bad. It's like when you get home, you like Dawn dish soap to the mouth <laughs> as a joke. She loved the shit and then she's laughing. You have to be able to have that aspect where like, I don't even want to use the word leader. I, it's like, you're the one 
who is like almost the authority figure that like dictates the whole frame of the interaction. Cause you've got to remember a woman just follows your lead. If you're going to like, if you're going to lead them, you can, you can lead them anywhere. You can lead them to the bedroom. You can lead them to the couch to watch a movie. You can lead them out to dinner. Or you can lead them down the aisle and say, I do. They don't know. They're not thinking for themselves. They're following your lead. So like at all times it's on you. So this is what like, God, so that's rough. See, this is like rougher than, and this, this isn't regimented how I usually teach you guys, but you got to know this shit because this is how you make it for a woman. So she goes, Oh, it's real. Oh, we have something. Oh, there's fucking chemistry here. Oh, I like this guy. The past 10 dates that I've been on because of this YouTube channel, every girl has said, I didn't think I'd like you. You're really fun. I, didn't, I thought you'd be such a prick. I thought you'd be such an asshole. Honestly, I was expecting to never talk to you again. Okay. If you are getting like, if, if you get them in that state where she goes, he's fun, he's charming. He can make me laugh. I feel a real connection. It's real for women. Now it's natural. This is when her panties get flooded. This is when she wants you. Like this is when, this is when you get her back to your place or you guys go out and you have a date. Maybe you go ice skating. Maybe you go hiking. Maybe you go get appetizers. Maybe, maybe you go get a margarita. Maybe you guys go to the gym, whatever. I don't care what it is. You come back. This is where these, these girls, you start acting like that. They will initiate the kiss first. They'll initiate all of the touch first. They will initiate them trying to get at you because they like you. Okay. You need, you need to get them to like you and she can like, if she likes you from the inside out, she don't give a fuck how much money you make that, that joke I did here with the margarita and with the text message calling her bisexual Beth. Like you could do that at any point. You could do that making fucking 2k a month. You could do that making 50k a month. You could do that making 500k a month. And this is why this is the important part that's missing. Cause for all of you who go, well, I can't act like that until I have a, P a Bugatti, right? I'm not, I'm not self-improving enough. What are you going to do? You're going to go sit on that. You're going to go sit on that date. And are you going to go tell her how stoic you are? Is that what you're going to, are you going to go tell her how, uh, you're going to go tell her how stoic you are and how, uh, um, not to test you cause you're an alpha. Like you, you, the shit that the, the shit that like that people are saying online. Okay. Even some of the concepts I talk about on the marker board, if you understand them, it's now your job to apply it. Cause women don't care how much you've self-improved. Women don't give a fuck. They see the end product. They might think it's attractive, but now how do you get that woman to open up emotionally? How do you get her to want to be with you? This is the secret sauce. This is what's missing. This is why over the years, when I've, when I've told you about MBT masculine behavioral techniques, what I've seen when I've given guys that system over the years is that is why so many men have went on to have successful relationships. That is why I've seen so many men inside of my community that have went on. I've even had some guys that go on to find their wife, their bride to be like this. That's real. Cause those, these are the types of masculine behavioral techniques. Now that you can kind of see them that women actually give a fuck about. That's how you get a girl to give you a kiss emoji. That's how you get a girl to say goodnight to you. That's how you get a girl to adore you. That's how you get a girl to go out on a date. And she's like, Oh fuck. I really like him. Then she texts her friend. Oh, he's so funny. He's so cute. It, meanwhile, you're worried about like, if you've got your Louis Vuitton belt on centered properly, she don't give a fuck. I can stroll. Like if you, if you understand this, you can stroll, you can stroll into a bar with a backwards hat on some sweatpants and a tank top or like, like it doesn't matter because like who you are on the inside shines through. She cares about your personality and who you are. So I hope that I explained that good. Now, what I wanted to talk about over here is that most high value professional or corporate men's personalities. Okay. So high value men's personalities, professional men's personalities, corporate men's personalities, you guys become sanitized. You're too clean. You're clean cut. You're sanitized. You don't talk with your, with the edge, right? Just like I told that girl as a joke to like fuck off and go walk home. Even though I'm sitting two feet away from her, she laughed and giggled. Like, do you understand that? Like you, you can't, you have to. So like when, when you're so corporate and not corporate is like, it's bad to be corporate. I'm saying corporate is, and that's the energy you give off regimented, polite, she looks at you as a good fit on paper, but she's like, well, I don't feel the spark. I don't feel chemistry because he's too perfect. He's too polite. He's too clean cut. I don't feel anything by him. I can't, I can't actually picture this guy penetrating me. 
is what she's thinking. I can't actually picture myself feeling anything for this guy where I'm gonna wanna actually like be with him. That's what she's thinking. So women feel, okay, women feel emotions based off of words. This is important because this is why they crave chaos or they crave toxic. But what you see is like when you see that text message example from my end, I said something like that and notice by the end of the night, <laughs> like that's, you still get the kiss emoji and goes, not gonna lie, I wish we were cuddling. So then when guys see that, they're like, well, that leaves a big question mark in my head. Is that what I'm missing? Is it the internal swag? Is it the internal spark? Yes, that's what all of you guys are missing is the soul, the soul of the man, letting your God-given personality shine through. So these are the things women look for. Like all of you have a personality, all of you have Charisma, all of you have charm, all of you have sex appeal. Pull that shit out of you, let that shine through. If you go to most bars, see that's the thing, if you go to most bars, if you go to most house parties, if you go out in public, social gatherings, dudes act like squares. They sit there just stuffed up and suffocated, like they're not talking, they're not open, they're not okay with themselves. And you can't, you can't fix this by lowering your body fat percentage. That's where guys like, oh, you know, if I get to 6% body fat, then I'm gonna get the girls. If I get an extra 100 grand in my bank account, then I'm gonna get girls. Fuck no, you won't. You have to fix this. You have to make yourself not so sanitized, okay? So this is why they crave chaos. This is why they crave toxic. They need that stimulation. That stimulation makes their panties wet. That stimulation makes them want to text you back. That stimulation makes them double text you when they don't hear from you. <laughs> that stimulation makes it so when there's 24 hours between replies, sometimes if you're busy or if you're working, she wonders about you. You need that mystery. You need that spark. This is very important. Women fall in love with personality, okay? They like it when a guy's rough around the edges. They need the spark. So now copy paste this into how most guys lose women. Most guys lose women by taking on boyfriend energy that doesn't have a commanding social presence. I understand that that's wordy. So here, here's, why, here's why men lose the girls that they're with a lot of times if you've dated them for an extended period. Like we're talking if you've dated a girl like six months to a year, here's what she's gonna see is she's gonna start to see how other people react to you. So you must be at the cause of other people's social reactions to retain women. Here's what I mean by that. Let's say you got six back abs, you have good game that you can make her feel something. You have good game, okay? An example of that was what I just showed you when I was on that date. You have good game, you have a good future. You have a good career, you have your own car, your own place, good stability, okay, cool. You're now the boyfriend. So if you have the boxes checked, even if you have good game, if you have good game, you have good personality, women are going to want you. Women are going to want you for the long term. Almost every single girl that I meet ends up probably wanting me for more of the long term. And that's not bad because they fall in love with personality. As soon as you start to want them to open up, it's like, man, it's like he, everything's casual and natural. I feel good with this guy, but God, look at all these other traits that he has. I want him for the long haul. Here's where guys screw up though. You might have six pack abs, good game, good future. Okay, now you're the boyfriend, but now take that a step further. Now she meets his friends. Because you gotta remember, when a woman comes into your life or comes into your environment, like here's the thing, you can be as high value as you want. Six foot five, big mansion. Eventually, if you're going to be exclusive with a woman, this is why a lot of times commitment can crush desire, is because eventually you guys end up on the couch, just sitting there talking and eventually things get boring and eventually things get routine and eventually you're sitting there with a plate of nachos and she knows what you do and she knows everything about you and you don't have the spark anymore. What I'm going to show you is why a lot of times guys will lose their girlfriends, okay? A woman starts to get an inside look at your life, she starts to meet this guy. She starts to meet this guy, now she meets his friends. What she'll see oftentimes is he's boring, he's not a social leader or people respond to him neutral or he isn't polarizing. The reason why this is so important when I say that if she sees how he is and he's neutral and he's not polarizing, you're not getting a reaction out of other people or they're not responding to you well. If she sees that they respond to this, the guy that I'm with really short, they don't talk a whole lot to him, he's not engaging, she's gonna scratch her head and be like, do they not like him? 
Is he actually low status? Okay, so women are social creatures. Women's hypergamy is a feeling. So I keep telling you, it's a feeling. It's not a success metric on paper, like he's six foot five and he makes more money than my current boyfriend, so I'm just gonna leave right away. Like, no, if you, if you satisfy hypergamy by being that social leader, you're the guy who knows how to convey an attractive personality. You're captivating, you're seductive. Not only do women respond to you well in social environments, but she sees the men respect you. The men laugh when you say, maybe you say vulgar shit or funny shit. You get a reaction out of them. They're like, damn, this is a guy I'd vibe with. He's, he's chill, he's cool. You have to be that. And then you have that polarizing energy that women respond to. They need a guy rough around the edges. So this is where if she sees, like once she comes into your social circle, once she comes into your environment, your frame, if you will, okay, your frame, your life set up from the long haul, if she sees that other people don't respond to you well, or you don't have a whole lot of friends, or you don't have a lot going on, she starts to become the center of your reality. Of your reality. Then she exits. Take that a step further. Maybe he meets her friends. So in the beginning, right, she was like, oh, I see a future with him. He has good game. He talks to me the right way. I like him. Boyfriend zone, or she wants him potentially for either, you know, short term for a couple months, or even potentially long term. Okay, good. But now what? He, now he meets her friends. Same thing happens. He's like, oh, he, she's, she's sitting there going, oh man, he didn't really like connect with my friends well. You know, they weren't laughing, they didn't like him. They were kind of indifferent. They're like, yeah, he's okay. And this, this can happen even if you have model quality looks. This can happen even if you're six foot five, that you can pull up in a sports car and it, like, the, women are judging your character. Women are judging your personality. Women are looking at the person from a whole. So then the same thing happens and then she leaves and guys go, guys go back to the drawing board and they're like, well, fuck me, you know, I, I gotta self-improve more. I got to make more money. It's like, no, you don't like you need to nourish. Like you, you nourish her personality and her soul by letting your personality and your soul shine through. So this is really deep and this is important, but this is how you convey social value. So this is how women judge your social value based on your masculine indifference by not giving a fuck, not playing it safe, saying whatever the fuck you want. And then realizing that when you flirt with them and you actually have good interactions with them like that, that gets them to open up, that gets them to adore you. Now she's in love. Now she wants to keep pursuing you. And it's pretty simple. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, whichever woman you want. And oftentimes you will be able to find a, a girlfriend. You'll be able to find and being able to retain them is a skill in and of itself. But for those of you who you want to start meeting and attracting women, you got to understand that like, you can do this without making a fuckload of money. The stuff that I do on dates, it doesn't matter. Like women, women don't know, like women, a lot of times women don't even know a whole lot about me or women don't even know a lot of times about the guy that they're hooked on or that they're seeing. And they don't care because when they're around the guy, he's a good time. This is how women judge your social value. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.